The terraforming of Venus is the hypothetical process of global environment of the planet Venus in such a way as to make it suitable for human habitation. Adjustments to the existing environment of Venus to support human life would require at least three major changes to the planet's atmosphere. Reducing Venus surface temperature of 462 degrees Celsius. Eliminating most of the planet's dense 9.2 megapascals, 91 atmospheres, carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide atmosphere via removal or conversion to some other form. The addition of breathable oxygen to the atmosphere. These are three changes are closely interrelated because Venus extreme temperature is due to the high pressure of its dense atmosphere, and the greenhouse effect. So, hello world. In this video, I'm gonna tell you what can we do to the terraforming of Venus. Here are four ways to apply all these changes. This video is going to be long and I'd request you to watch the video till the end. So without wasting time let's get to the video. The first one is to change your removal of an atmosphere of the dense carbon dioxide atmosphere. We can do it using methods. Biological approaches, in this method, we will use genetically engineered bacteria to fix carbon into organic compounds although this method is still proposed. In discussions of Venus terraforming, later discoveries showed that biological means alone would not be successful. Capturing in carbonates, on Earth, nearly all carbon is sequestered in the form of carbonate minerals or in different stages of the carbon cycle, while very little is present in the atmosphere in the form of carbon dioxide. On Venus, the situation is the opposite. Practically all of the carbon is present in the atmosphere, while very little is sequestered in the lithosphere. Many approaches to terraforming, therefore, focus on getting rid of carbon dioxide by chemical reactions trapping and stabilizing it in the form of carbonate minerals. And another way is the removal of an atmosphere by making asteroid hit to Venus and creating a balanced atmosphere like Earth. This is very very difficult in 2020. And we also have to remove cooling down the planet by solar shades. A shade placed in the Sun Venus L1 Lagrangian point also would serve to block the solar wind, removing the radiation exposure problem on Venus. Hey! There is another way to cooling down Venus is to create an artificial mountain. And the second one is water on Venus. Since Venus only has a fraction of the water on Earth, less than half the Earth's water content in the atmosphere, and none on the surface. Water would have to be introduced either by the method of introduction of hydrogen or from some other extraplanetary source. As Venus has very much quantity of oxygen into CO2. And the third one is altering the day-night cycle. Venus rotates once every 243 Earth days, by far the slowest rotation period of any known object in the solar system. The slow Venerian rotation rate would result in extremely long days and nights, similar to the day-night cycles in the polar regions of the Earth. The slow rotation might also account for the lack of a significant magnetic field. For getting rid of this problem we have to change the rotation speed of the planet. Scientific research suggests that close flybys of asteroids or cometary bodies larger than 100 kilometers 60 miles across could be used to move a planet in its orbit, or increase the speed of rotation. And the fourth one is creating an artificial magnetos. According to two NIFS Japanese scientists, it is feasible to do that with current technology by building a system of refrigerated latitudinal superconducting rings, each carrying a sufficient amount of direct current. That's it for today guys. If you're still watching this video please let me know in the comment. And probably the next video would be colonization of Venus.